tell me they threw the body from window to window. No, no, I... Yeah. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. Ah, oh, oh, funny that you'd uh, use that one, eh, Kaito? Throwing a baseball. I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. Well, I mean, there's got to be. Right, yeah, which I assume is what we, uh, again, like, I, I sort of assume that's what the rope's got to be for, right? Uh, or, not the rope, the tennis wire. Um, because, and a, a part of that's certainly because we've got measurements for it, and the only other thing we've ever had measurements for is the, the pool. Um, but, because I, I don't know if that would create the... But I don't know, maybe it would. I'm not really uh, familiar with the uh, the material that is a tennis wire. So I don't know if it would be able to create the sort of scratches that are on the windowsills. But then it's a matter of how, like, what? You've then got, like, a, a tightrope. We're not going to say someone tightroped across, are we? Like, with Ryoma? Then there's also all the stuff in the pool, right? Like, how, how does that come into it? Like, I don't know, I was going to say, were they used? I mean, I don't really know how, but I, I guess the 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 tube, the inner tube, rubber ring thing in the doodad could have been used. But I don't know about like the scrap of material that's just in the pool, right? Equipment to connect the windows. I believe it was found near the body. Oh. Uh. Equipment to connect the windows. Oh. We got... Rope? I mean... Okay. Oh. May okay. I guess I'm just super far off. Alright. I'll shut up. You know, here I thought I was uh, figuring out things that, you know, I was struggling a little bit with. But no, I guess I'm just stupid. A canny, just like right now. Yeah, it'd be really nice, Angie, if God could just, uh, you know, tell us who killed Ryoma. Yeah, you know, I mean, he sees all, you know. Okay. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. I, I mean, well, I mean that confirms that it was moved. I guess. It's a mysterious mystery. Only a tour knows the answer. So during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window. Uh... I don't know. We're talking about throwing things through the windows. That just seems a little impossible. I don't know. Is it long enough? I think I think Keo gave us the measurements for the rope, right? But I've, I've kind of forgotten them already. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, would it be? I guess it could. Well, altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly fifty feet, and pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. Wow. You bet it's long enough. Nice me, but what was the tennis wire used for then? That you've lost me on. Wait, who said that? Or I guess I just don't know yet is the, the point. But really, rope made those like dents on the windows? Even if the rope was long enough, 
Wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie it up to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. Are we going to do a meter halfway thing then? Like both ropes were used or something? If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, Gonta think it would work. Just need one more rope. Well, I'm sure Gonta is a rope professional. <laughs> Come on, Keo, you've been useful so far. Kind of. Well, kind of. You're a rope master. You, you get your saying. Okay, yeah, but okay, so the, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe we're gonna do a meet halfway thing then with the oh, wire. A bit unpossible. Sorry. Unpossible. No, I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as a rope. Yes. Uh, it's near the bottom, right? Pull rules, black piece of fabric. Ten yeah, there it is. Tennis net cable. Okay, so you had a bit of a double team of ropes. Yeah, how long is it again? Come on, Gonta. And they tie him, like, together in the middle. Well, what, how, like, is that really that useful, though? Because then you just got, like, a, a knot that hangs, yeah. After tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. Okay. So maybe we're going to go with a different thing, then. Like, whoever... Well, then what's the point of doing it in... Well, I guess it's so no one really sees you, right? gonna say why would they do this instead of just like doing this in the gym hanging it outside then like they climb up the rope into the gym um because like as this is I, I can't really see why this would need to be done right because like this rope is just sitting there i mean you're right but you'd have to i mean you well Oh, maybe that's why the 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 the, um, the marks on the windows are so big, then, right? Because like you know, it's like a almost like a pulley system. You like roll the the wire around the window frames a couple more times, get it nice and taut. Um, I mean, that'd be highly inconvenient because you have to keep on going between the two, but. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed he, uh, he just knew that. Um, rope man, I guess. Oh, like little uh, bug traps. Okay, uh, I'll buy that. You're right, that's sort of what I was struggling with. Oh, what is it, Mew? I don't know if that quote is exactly right, but sure. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! Okay. Get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of my attitude. Come on, me. They tap up the bottom to the rope and split it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! You know, that's actually not... Well, I mean, it wouldn't really be like Tarzan, but... That's actually not a terrible idea. Like you hang up, but ah, uh, but then you'd sort of just leave him hanging there, wouldn't you? You'd still have to come out. I mean, it'd be a really good way to transport the body, and then you could just sort of leave him there, and you wouldn't really like there'd be no evidence that a specific person did it, I guess. But well, you're right. But then someone else would just like come out and sort it, right? Oh, oh, no, 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 they wouldn't. Window's too high up, isn't it? Yeah, window's too high. Oh, okay, that's the problem there. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Good luck, Kikichi. You have 
brutalized her this this trial. But hey, I mean, I don't think that's a terrible idea, right? Oh shit! I thought it was Gonta! Me, it was Tarzan all along! Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's right, I kind of forgot about the window being too high. Or, well, not forgot, I guess more like overlooked. The window's too high to just sort of reach, right? And you can't just use a ladder either, because it needs to be like on the stage or whatever. Um, or like, well, you know, point is it's a high window. Um, so, hmm. That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Well, I mean, we do have some other things just sitting around, but I, I, I don't really know how yet. Not just the rope? Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. Hmm. Well, I mean, not necessarily, right? Because the piranhas, like, I think the, the thing we have to solve here is getting the, like, getting the, the killer and the body to the window, right? Because I think as soon as you're at the window, the piranha tank's, like, right next to it, right? And considering, like, the way the, the, the we imagine that the glass was positioned, it wouldn't be too hard, I think, if you were, like, at the window to be able to get Ryoma into the tank, right? But how? Like, how? I know I said, like, tight roping, sure, but... Uh... would just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. Yeah. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. That would make sense, yeah. But is there really a way to do that? Well, I guess we're gonna have to figure it out. Presumably, like, it's gotta have something to do with the stuff that's in the pool, right? Considering, I mean, <laughs> we haven't used that stuff yet, but... Kokichi, are you hinting at something? <laughs> yeah, dude. Have you already figured this out? You gonna be a little bit of a Biakia Nagito asshole about all this, where you already kind of know you're just going to be, like, giving us vague... Well, I guess Biaki didn't give us vague hints. He really wanted to just steal all the glory for himself, but, you know. Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. Right. You're confusing me. You're definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning they would have wanted to get, to as, cl get as close to the window as possible. Right, yeah. The problem is, how do they get near it? Yeah, that's sort of where I'm stuck at. All we know, all we know right now, is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. And to make that work, they had to use, they had to have used something else. But what would that be? What could they have done? Alright, Shuichi, the stage is finally set. Yeah. <laughs> what? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put yep. an end to this trial. <laughs> yeah, all right, Kaito, whatever you say. But hey, uh, a CG in the trial. That's, uh, I don't think that's ever happened before. Well, not of, like, you know, of the trial. We obviously had CGs. Like, we just had one before this, but, you know. All oh, right, yeah, so uh, you, the sidekick can set you up and a uh, big hero man over here can finish it off, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. You're definitely not going to pass this off to me, right? You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. Yeah, uh, we'll together, see about that. We're going to save everyone. Well, eh, except the one person who's going to have to die. Together? Yeah, we haven't really uh, moved on to pinning it on someone yet, you have we? This. After all, you are my sidekick. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really mean that, don't you? I'm gonna be doing everything. Yeah. Okay. I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with a rope to move the body between the windows. Think. Come on, think! Is this? Yeah, okay. Hangman's Gambit. Alright. What are we- Oh shit, um... <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, but apparently that was correct! Okay, so it starts with R. Um... Okay. What could it be? Hold on, what's the- What are the culprit fashion to move the body between the windows? Okay. It starts with R. Um... Hmm. I think I've seen a lot of O's here. Is it something, Is this gonna be like a rope something? Okay, I'm gonna say yes. That was an E there, right? Okay. Rope... something. Uh... I guess, yeah, let's look at what, what letters do we have? Um... Uh, what? Is that a Y? Y-O-P-A. Uh, there's a double U in there as well. Um, hmm. it doesn't really like look like it gives us useless ones, right? Hmm. Do, I don't know. It, yeah, it doesn't really look like this Hangman's Gambit gives us useless letters. So it looks like there's got to be a W. Um, well, that could be like a W and A and a Y, right? So. Rope way? Like a, like a walkway, but with ropes? Is that what we're going with? I guess so. Rope way. Uh, I'm not... What, what, what does that mean? Yes, that's it. The culprit used something like a rope way to move the body. What does that mean? <laughs> Shuichi, what does that mean? I don't know what a rope way is. I don't know what a rope way is. I assume you're pointing that at Shuichi, but uh. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. I think I know what a ropeway is. <laughs> Never mind. It's like um. It's like one of those things in the well. I say in the park, but in a park. Um, it's like you've got a seat and you swing it down like, you know, obviously someone's sitting on it. You swing it down the, the, uh, the, the, well, it's usually like a chain link from my experience, but throw it down the rope and like hits the end and then it like comes back. Um, but no, I don't think it would do that here. I think it's too steep a drop. Um, but I guess that's, that, is that a ropeway? That seems like it would be a ropeway, right? In which case, oh, uh, okay, mind, mind, mind. Uh, is this imagination excavation? I feel like we haven't had another. Um, we haven't had the mini game. Like, I think this is the only other mini game, right? That we haven't seen yet. So I guess so. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind, mind will begin. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the L stick to move the cursor and erase the pieces with the X button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. Okay. If you do it, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on the top of the object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. If there's just one piece left, you can press the X button repeatedly to break it. Okay, but that, but that will incur a time penalty, so don't just button mash. Okay, it might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. 
Uh, okay. All right. Thank you for your understanding. All right. Um, well, I think it's always good to start in the corners with one of these. Uh, so I guess we'll start there. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, we do get five minutes for this, but I feel like that's not going to be enough. Uh, well, there's something there, so I guess we'll get to work on this then. Um, okay, well, that's the ladder, so that's not what we're looking for. Uh, other corner. Uh, boom, boom, uh, boom, 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 uh, boom. Uh, boom. 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 Oh, there it is! There it is, that's what I'm looking for, I think. Boom. Uh. Boom. 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 Shit. Uh, well, I fucked that up. Boom. Uh. Ah! Uh. Oh, uh, those ones. Okay. Uh, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, well, boom. Tire. Okay. And I'm not so sure I'm a fan of that one. I get it. I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure I like it, though. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the, I thought we were just going to select it, right? Um... But yeah, no, this would perfectly function as, like, the seat, right? Like, you can just sit in it and foo down the, uh, down the rope, and then you'll be there. Um, you'll be at the right height, or just about, obviously. Oh, and there's a rope on the thingy, isn't there? There's a rope on the inner tube. So that would, like, attach to the other rope. You'd swit- oh, that- Brilliant. Oh. That makes sense! I don't know where that black fabric's gonna come into it, though. Or how the black fabric fabric is gonna come into it. Okay, for a second I was gonna be like, wait, hang on, how are we doing this? Are we gonna do this, like, uh, you know, uh, tire swing style? Or are we doing this like an actual seat where I like hook it over the top? Um, sorry, I'm using like a lot of visual um, references without providing any visuals, obviously. Well, I mean, uh, no, I don't think I know any, I uh, don't think I know how to use editing software on that level. Um, maybe, maybe I could do it. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much how I imagined it. Um, I guess just a little bit, like, longer. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I imagined it. Like, the yeah, the uh, the rope on the, the tire being longer, that is. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! The tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. God, I am so fucking lucky. I accidentally pressed <laughs> pressed a triangle on that R. Oh god, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if I would have figured that out to be honest. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if they don't give us useless letters, um. Because I don't think they... Uh, yeah, I think it was like that in Danganronpa 2, right? They never gave you useless letters. It was just, you know, when they gave it to you that was the problem. Um, so, yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess they don't give you useless ones. Uh, you just got to know in what order to put them in. Man, uh... The naked grey guy's looking uh, pretty... Ripped in this one, eh? <laughs> Gonta?
What do you mean? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Uh, uh, oh, I guess maybe. Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Last time? Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Or it was just Kokichi, yeah, fucking about, you know. But I'm gonna say it's probably the culprit based on that reaction. No shit. Yeah. Way to put your foot in your mouth. Yeah, that's a that's a Monotaro thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're all freaking out about it. It's that beep boop over there. <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth. Thanks, Mona Cubs. Oh, I am. I, I'm gonna kill you this time. Uh oh. Yeah, you shouldn't have jumped on board to answer our questions so quickly. Um, do not believe Monosuke. Oh, all right, Monodam. No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, how kind of you. I want us all to get along. Uh. Sure. Yeah, I can't fucking keep up with you guys. Man, the trial is just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? Well, because otherwise you'd be running in circles. I feel like that's something Monokuma would probably confirm for us himself. But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. I guess it would be more so just, you know, with the omission of that someone already asked. Well, I mean, no, not really. <laughs> We've seen way weirder. Well, they didn't. Um, but I mean, most of it was pretty well tucked away. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't really be too hard, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, you're on the windowsill. Just untie the rope. Yeah. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Yeah, easy peasy. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. Yeah. Um. I mean, it would not sit as neatly as we found it, but. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. Easy peasy. I see, I see. The rope was thrown from the window. That's why we found it there. Could be. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Yeah, a couple. I wouldn't have needed to do too many, but yeah. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slept. Ah, night time's always the perfect time, as we've learned in every Dung and Romba game. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Well, probably because it was in the pool, right? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Wah, wah. What a fucking moron. How do you do that? And why did the culprit 
culprit leave it in the pool? Because I couldn't get it out. The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. Uh, it was night time. Cool rules say no going in. And it was smack bang in the middle of the pool, too. Like, uh, Shuichi and Kaito even commented on how you wouldn't be able to get it out, right? I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at night time. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water mm -hmm. level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope. Yeah, I mean, you could get it over, but you wouldn't be able to get it up. I mean, if you, like, got the rope, like, inside the inner tube and gave it a little pull, you might be, like, if it was light enough, which I imagine it would be, it's an inner tube, you'd be able to, like, bring it over, but you wouldn't be able to, like, reach down and bring it up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even what I said is a bit of a long shot. You need a very long rope, and you'd need to be extremely careful as to not fall into the pool. Yep. Yeah. How did they get in there? Because if you, like, if you just undo it from Ryoma's lab, surely the... Like, the, you know, because this isn't a, a, an actual ropeway, right? It didn't move backwards. It would have still been at the window. So just untie it there. Thing drops on the floor. Bada bing, bada boom. You're done. Like, the pool and... Like, there is a good distance between the window and the actual pool. Like, you... Like, we, we haven't thought about culprits yet, and Kurumi is sort of, like, my only guess at this point. But, like, it kind of can't be Kurumi, right? Because that is so stupid. That you, like, that's impossible to fuck up. Yeah, like, I, I get dropping it, but how did it drop into the pool? Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get this slam back in my face, aren't I? Because me is saying it, but, like... No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. Yeah, agreed. But this end bit is such an egregious mistake, it's almost disappointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can trust her, right? <laughs> you know what? That's a great, great way to shut him down. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. I mean, this is a this is quite the plan, all things considered. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a rope way. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. I mean, I, I, yes and no. Like, uh, a, a lot of this is brilliant setup. We've really got a Gundam case here where, like, even at this point, there hasn't really been anything that points to a person. Like, even, actually, to be honest, even the plan actually fucking up at the end doesn't point to a person. Uh, it just points to them being really fucking stupid. Um, but... You didn't do it, did you, Kaito? This seems like a Kaito-level mistake. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. Mm. God, how much more of this trial is there? I feel like I've been going forever. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. Well, I mean, it is the ultimate conclusion of the mystery. <laughs> really, Kaito? Do you have an idea? God damn it. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. Like, <laughs> even B. Well, 
Do you already know who the top lady is? Do you? Yeah, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. I mean, I, I kind of do, kind of don't. I mean, it could be Karumi, all things considered. Uh, like, she was, even though we sort of pretended she was, she was never cleared of suspicion. Um, and I mean, if we're going down the avenue of hyper-intelligence and hyper-diligence... Uh, hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? Yeah, I think I might be about to kill Team Mum. What? Said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. Oh. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. Yeah, well, thanks for the vote of confidence, Kaito. Believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi. Uh Yeah. I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have been, would have had to been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Yeah, well, there, there's a, there's a big one. That's sort of always been the thing, right? Like, whoever did this had to have been working in the gym. But it did. Well, I mean, to be fair, we haven't even spoken about Angie, and it totally could have been her as well. But knowing that narrows down the list of suspects. Yeah, so it has to be someone who was quite active in the gym. And, well, I mean, I'm going to go with this. I guess it could be Angie, too, but, like... It has to be you. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my stab in the dark. One thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Oh, shit, dude. My random... Well, it wasn't really random. But my plot-related guess right at the beginning seems to be right! <laughs> ah! Yeah, you. And to be fair, I guess we also have to think about it like this, right? Who out of any of us could actually feasibly get Ryoma? Like, if Gonta couldn't even do it, Kirumi is probably the only one, right? I know he sort of, like, talked about how he was probably caught, like, off guard or whatever. Like, he, you know, it wasn't really a, a pursuit scenario, but still... Testimony first. Yeah, come on. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. Fair enough. The wrong choice? If you do believe it in me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? Yeah, I kind of have been this whole time. I haven't really suspected anyone else, to be honest. And, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Karumi, I'm as cool as some of your, your portraits are, like, look at that, uh, you're not exactly on my, uh, list of favourites, shall we say, so I can't say I'm particularly torn up, <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I'll stick with my guns, uh, hmm. I'm not immediately sure what I should be firing here. All right, me. You. Well, maybe. Well, agreed, but we don't really have proof for that. <coughs> True. Yeah. Uh, to force Karumi to implicate herself. My logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I just have to stay calm and find it. I, of course, am not the culprit. Right, okay, what do we have here? Insect meet and greet, Marky alone, witnessing Ryoma, and alibis for yesterday. Um, alibis for yesterday. What exactly uh, do we have here?
Mm, well, I mean, this one is the one that specifically mentions that she was alone, right? She was in the gym alone for five minutes or whatever. Or is that... Well, I know we don't have Kokichi's account, but... Oh, no, we actually don't have it. We don't have that part of the... Uh, she was by herself, so... Uh, maybe go with this? I think it's this next one she has, right? I'm gonna go with this. Nice! Right. Couldn't have been done by anyone, because she's the only one who had time to actually set up the stuff in the gym, right? I mean, still, I stand by the fact that technically, like, we haven't considered this, but this could totally be a joint job from Angie and Himiko. Again, like, we sort of established in Danganronpa that there's no real reason to do, um, you know, an accomplice thing. But technically, those two could so easily have worked together to do this as well. Um, and, like, all things considered, aside from maybe, like, competency, I, I feel like Angie could have equally... And, yeah, Himiko to an ex- well, no, Himiko definitely couldn't have, she's way too lazy, but, uh, I feel like Angie also could have pulled this off. Well, the preparations in the gym, in any case. I don't know, I, I guess that really is the difference, eh? Like, that raw intelligence that went into this, I guess. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Well, not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. I totally agree. For once, Dunga Rumble, I entirely agree with your time framing. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. Oh, really? You're going to argue? That was just, like a bit of a delay on that shattering there. Alright, you know, I was gonna say, you were handling this quite well, but, uh... Very calmly. We don't usually have Blackens who take it very well. Um, and I was gonna say, you are... you are taking it well? If it were solely the rope and partition. Ooh. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. Your argument is faulty. Your entire case falls apart. Alright. We'll part about it, though. Yeah. Where are you going with here? Oh, actually, I think there is. You know, I was just thinking about this. We haven't actually used the marked window frame yet, right? Oh. And I think that sort of proves what we want here. This is the conclusion we reach together. It's not just a guess. I have evidence on my side, and I'll show her. Oh. oh man, I missed the V spot. I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym in the lab. Yeah. Were those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window? Uh, that, that's a good point. We didn't really bring this up, like. We sort of just threw this out there. It's like, oh yeah, this has to have been how it happened, right? Without really proving that it did happen. No. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. Yeah. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. 
Yeah, I guess if you put, like, two human bodies on that. It's like, these are just window frames, right? Like, th these aren't... Th these aren't, like, poles designed for this. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you imagine how fucking disastrous that would have been if they did actually break? We got two dead bodies on our hands. Oh, uh oh, uh oh! What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Is Kirumi quiet? Because because that's what happened to you. Mm, well, maybe she's well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say she's probably thinking up a new argument, but uh. Well, and the rest of us. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. Mm-hmm. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone! For everyone? I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. Mm-hmm. What? Where is this coming from? So, I, I don't think I ever spoke about this, right? But I, I kind of had a thought about this, right? Like, I, you know, I've obviously said this before. But the murder has to have something to do with the motive, right? And I, I have wondered... Like, I, I feel like Kurumi wouldn't just murder, you know, under ordinary circumstances according to the, like, a motive like this, right? I think there has to be something extra to it, you know? I, I, I don't know, I, I feel like whoever is in her motive video probably has a little more importance to her than, like, the average, you know, motive video. Like, I, I don't think it's going to be her parents is sort of, like, you know, the thing. Maybe it's, like, someone she's... I Yeah, I mean, it's probably something, something to do with, like, someone she's serving. Um, her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Or I don't know, is she clued in on something that's going to help us? Is she doing this for our sakes? Um, am I wrong? Is Karumi innocent? No, I'm, I'm wrong again. Hey, Karumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, felt like you weren't talking about us. Mm. Yeah, it's gotta be something to do with a motive, right? It's gotta be, but I, I... I don't know what's gonna be in it. Felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here. Yeah, I think we might have got her. Someone outside of the academy? Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Yeah, I think there's a chance she might have done. Huh? The motive video? It's gotta be. It's got to be something a little more than that, though. I, I don't, I don't think Karumi would just, you know, do it for. Oh no! Someone I love is in danger. Well, fuck everyone else here. I, 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 I don't think Karumi's like that. Like, that, giving up. I made all of you assume something unnecessary. 
Are you? You're not. No, you can't be giving up that easily. Unnecessary? That quickly, I guess I should say. You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a two Uh, I mean, it could. I, I... Cause I don't know, I feel like maybe it might be. But on the other hand, I don't know if this is really in Karumi's personality, to be honest, but she, I don't know, she might be trying to play us. You know, cause she's sort of had that whole devotion to us all thing going on. So she could totally play this card feasibly, right? But I, I don't know, is it really in her personality to manipulate us like this? I, I, I don't know. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me. But I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. <sighs> I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. I mean, on one hand, I kind of believe her, but on the other hand, it's too late in the trial to be trying this, I feel. So please believe me. You have to. I don't know. I don't... I, it's gotta be her, but... I don't know, because, like, then thinking about it with, like, the motive video, everyone? Like... I mean, I guess it could be a group of people, like if she's serving a family or something. God, I, I don't know. I don't know, I just had the weirdest fucking, like... Was it Samugi who said something about being a teen, like, Maki being a teen mom or something? Like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe something stupid like that. Maybe Karumi actually has a family of her own or some shit, I don't know. Really is team mom, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't know, I don't think so, but to be, I, I don't know. Also, on the other hand, it, it feels like that those would like sound like that would be the only reason Karumi would betray us. I don't think it could be though, right? I mean, it could be Angie. I've, I, you know, I've said this time and time again. It so could be Angie. But I don't know if she'd be able to kill Ryoma. Like, she could do everything else, but I don't know about that part. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the oh, well, yeah, I'm sure we all wish, but I don't know about that. Oh god, this better not be a whole- like, she was setting us up, right, the whole time. I mean, hey. If she was setting us up for the long game, that's very impressive, but... Oh yeah, I don't know, maybe Keo's right. Hey, are we- we might have another scrum debate, maybe. We seem pretty divided on this. Or is it, or is it going to be a one-and-done deal every trial? I mean, to be fair, we've had, like, every game only once this time. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? Mm-hmm. But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. Well, I mean, we can. We don't have any anyone better, aside from Andy. It and is Himiko. For Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. Well, I guess that's actually kind of fair. That, yeah. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. Well, yeah, but you were there for that bit. Well, Maki didn't even go there. Kaito did, but... Put it that way. He does seem awesome. I mean, possible, but... Likely? Yeah, no, I mean, I do agree with that, but I don't know. She she just fits too well.
promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. Oh. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back oh. now. Oh, Shuichi! Got a little more conviction than me in this, hey! They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it! I'll use my detective work to prove it! So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am... No, there is. I Ooh. have proof that you are the culprit. Do we? I realized it when we determined that the ropeway was used to move the body. Yeah. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift ropeway, then the final clue falls into place. Okay, well, I mean, I already know what the final clue is. It's the only evidence we haven't used. It's the scrap. It's the scrap of fabric, but, like, how does it fall into place? I mean, I guess I don't really need to figure out the how. I just need to figure out the what, but still. The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? He already has. He's pursuing the truth. Don't you want to protect everyone? That's exactly what he wants to do. I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. There yeah, he is. Go on, Shuichi. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Yeah, now she's losing her cool. But come on. Time to make Kaito proud. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Make Kaido proud too. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. Oh, excuse you. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self righteous brat. You can't save anyone. All right, that's a bit brutal on him. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Come on. I mean, it, again, it's the only evidence we haven't used. I don't know how it fits. But it's gotta be the one. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. Oh, yeah. I don't know how. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. No, I thought it was from Ryoma, but I mean, when I looked through everyone, yeah, she she does have black clothes. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. But like, is it really going to come from her clothes then? Like, now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle, because like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Mm-hmm. In pool. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym, but how would you control it? Uh, what, what do you mean? It's a one way system. If you kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. Well, I mean, not if you're on it. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, their hands for friction. Oh, oh. Ouch. Rope burn anyone? Yeah, so what? Oh! <laughs> okay, I think I just got it. You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Very clever, Dangan Romper, to use a sprite that did that. Or a portrait, even. Why are you sweating so much? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Yeah, move, move out of the way, Kaito. We're, we're going to have a direct argument about this. Just lean back for us, bro. Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. 
I'll make it all clear now. Oh, oh, rhythm game time. Oh, damn, she looks good. Sorry, I know I'm uh, silent during this, but I, I need to concentrate, otherwise I, I, I severely fuck these up if I'm not quiet. <laughs> oh shit! Mixing it up. Oh! Okay, 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 hey, 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so clever, though, that immediately after we, like, came to this conclusion, they used one of the portraits where she's holding her hands up. Ah, oh, so clever. Hmm. Yeah, I hadn't even considered that. that that's smart. So even then, like, leaving that piece of evidence behind... Alone, it means nothing. It's literally just a piece of fabric. But, like, putting everything together, like, th then it's finally something a little bit more... Very clever. I think she's the only one who wears gloves. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm. The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing mm -hmm. now. All identical, as per usual. I guess Mew's wearing gloves, but uh, they kind of look like they're a little more leathery than fabric. Oh, I got her! Well, Kirumi? Oh, well. Will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you oh, Come on, everyone! Ganker! In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kayede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me. I won't turn away from it. Reconstruction time. Closing argument! Woo! Okay. Oh, not very many panel pieces here, right? Uh, piranhas in the tank, handcuff victim, friction on the gloves, rubber in a tube, tied the rope. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh man, starting at the end here. Uh, evidence made of metal. Uh, ooh, we, I think we have one for handcuffs, but it's not the right one. 
Uh, okay. Uh, what was used the partition? That's the glass thing. We definitely don't have that. Uh, do we have rope? I think we have rope. Is it this one? Carried rope. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. The rope. Uh, rope tied. I don't think we have that one yet either. Uh, or before the murder. That. Ah, that's this one. Oh Jesus. Good lord. You know what? That's pretty fucking. Yeah. I, I. I mean, I kind of commented on this uh, at the start, but fucking drowning him. Fucking overly brutal. Uh, taken from the pool. Uh, what, the inner tube? Uh, uh, what was used to transport the body on the ropeway? That's the tire. Yeah, yeah. Hitting the brakes. That's definitely this. His body carried to that piranha tank. Okay, got a couple more. Let's see what one is this piranha tank lid. Okay, that's right near the beginning. Uh, yeah, I think that's this one, right? Yep, it's that one. Then it is metal handcuffs. Well, that's in bloody water, so we know where that goes. And Jim's window frame. Oh, I think. Is it, uh, yeah, if it's Jim's window frame, then it's that one. And hanged in a tube has to be this one. This is the truth of the case. Nice and easy one. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. Oh, careful censorship there. You already fucked him up, Kurumi. <laughs> Piece of shit. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic dream. Yeah, me too, Tenko. <laughs> Hang on, is Kurumi wearing her gloves there? Like, where she's holding... Is she holding Samugi? Is that her gloves, or is that, like, Samugi's uniform? Because the Black and uh, Last Chapter had Kaede's backpack, right? In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. So, like, when things on the person of the Black and are intrinsic to the crime, does that, like, show up on the... Well, I guess it's naked blue guy this time. While preparing for the show in the gym, if so, that's pretty cool. Had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and remove the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition. No, uh, maybe not. It doesn't look like they are. So I guess it was just Samugi's uniform. Yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah. Oops. I guess I was just looking for something where it wasn't. My bad. No, no, that's, there she is! She's wearing it! Once there, is it just on one hand? It, no, it looks like it's on both. To the window frame. Yeah, no, it's on both there. The window, toward the pool. I don't know, weird. These 
preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. Maybe they just forgot to draw it on in that one particular case. Oh, his little hat's wobbling. Past midnight, the culprit asked Rioma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Rioma out, probably striking him from behind. Yeah, I guess we don't really know how that went down, do we? Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Ooh. You're a sick fuck, Kurumi. You're a sick fuck. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. What a bitch. I still don't, like, even, like, there, you can even see it, right? Like, how far away from the pool the ring would have been. Like, oh, are we gonna, oh, I wasn't super paying attention. We, we've got to see this, right? Because, like, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. yeah, you're telling me, because, like, this is a pretty massive fuck up, this end bit here. Again, not necessarily indicative of her doing it. To, to be honest, it, the brake system is really the thing that does her in here. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. Mm -hmm. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. Now that's a much more... That, that reasoning makes a lot more sense to me, rather than the body would have fallen off. They would have gone through the window, yeah. Like if they were going fast. That would have caused significant rope burn, had the culprit not been wearing gloves. And yet. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. The culprit 
I've reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. Oh! One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. I guess it's when they're doing this, right? Okay, just seeing it from that angle makes a little more sense, right? I guess if you're, like, untying it or whatever, you'd probably have to lift the rope up a little bit, which could have slid the, the tire down, and since one side of the rope came off, with its, like, a little bit of momentum there, I could feasibly see it not dropping directly into the pool, but I mean, like, bouncing into the pool. It's still really stupid. I, like, I, I, mm, I'm not so sure I can pin this on Kirumi being dumb. This seems more like a, an Ace Attorney contrivance, but, yeah, And one that didn't even really need to happen. But... Really interesting, though, is that, um, yeah, we sort of brief he Shuichi briefly touched on that this is, it must have been a premeditated crime, but, like, this, rather, usually it's like, oh, the, the murder is vict, not victived, what? Suited to the, like, the murderer? But this time it was like, this murder hinged entirely on the person who got murdered, you know? Because, like, none of this, this would not have worked if anyone else had been killed. Except maybe Himiko. Like, this had, it had to be Ryoma who died here. Well, not like, you know, necessarily plot-wise. It had to be Ryoma in the same way I thought it had to be Kurumi who killed him. Um, but, you know, for this plan to work, it has to be Ryoma. Oh, Shuichi, looking kind of cool there. I mean, it's still not Danganronpa 1 levels, but, uh, you're looking pretty good, Shuichi. As is Kurumi, I like it. It's like quiet, but still aggressive, I like it. If you get what I mean. Damn, this was a long-ass trial, though. So this murder was a request? Were you requested by the people in your video to get out, maybe? Does that mean you admit it? Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Really, though? Jeez. Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. That seems kind of weird, like, in a warehouse, really? But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. I guess Monokuma might have taken them out purely for a circumstance like this. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone who shall not be named opened their big mouth. Well, I don't know about that, because ultimately, you know... It's not really that stuff. Well, eh, kind of. I get, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, if you don't know that, maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. Yeah, oops, sorry guys, I got it all wrong. It was me the whole time. That is right. No need to worry. Hey, Monogum. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. Oh, too soon, Monophony. You know who we we're about to kill. Man, Kurumi didn't put up much of a fight, though. <laughs> All things considered, we got her real easy. I mean, I suppose that's the 
the benefit of solving everything first. Uh, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, you're done. Pulling off one of the most brutal murders we've seen so far. Like seriously, this was unnecessarily brutal. Oi! Did you vote for Shuichi, you bitch? Wow. Took that loss with grace, didn't she? <laughs> Jesus. All right, Kirumi. Yay. <laughs> Got her. Man, that just doesn't look right. There's only four of them there. Yeah. Damn, that... Oh, God. I think I was, uh... I think I was kind of right about that one, but, um... Yay! Got an A. 307 monochromes. Nice. But, um... Damn. Yeah, that was pretty good. I, I did pretty well this time. Um... Yeah, they, it seems like the trials are going to be a lot longer and the investigation is going to be a lot shorter in this game. Which, I mean, I'm down for. Um... But this was, like, nearly five hours. Um... But hey, I guess we're done now. Um, so yeah, I mean, no, 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 you know, no reason to be uh, hanging around or whatever. And this feels like the first trial in a long time. I'm not like super torn up. Um, sorry, Karumi, you're just so there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Guess you're just not my cup of tea. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have no idea how long this part in particular is going to be, but there. Uh, they're, they're, I, mm, they're either going to be a lot more episodes of this trial, or fewer, longer episodes. Or who knows, maybe I'll even make one, like, a slightly longer one as well, just as, like, a, a cap-off to the trial. Uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one, where we'll wrap all this up and finish up Chapter 2. Uh, see you guys then, and thank you for watching. Sound, 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 like, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.